What's up, Falcon? Today is May 15th. Today we start off this Falcon TV episode by celebrating National Teen Self-Esteem Month, a month that will bring awareness to teens struggling with their self-worth and acceptance. We hope this month you take it easier in your 12th. School is almost ending, so enjoy the rest of the days together. In other news, we celebrated Eve a few weeks ago. How was your break? It was great. I got to spend time with family, earned a bit of Eve money, and ate lots of good food. Eve is the holiday to celebrate the end of Ramadan, but what else do you do? Well, it really depends on the culture. But here's a video explaining more about Ramadan and what Eid means to Muslims. I personally practice Ramadan because my parents have taught it to me, and I'm trying to continue the te their teachings and becoming a better Muslim. Not only are we fasting from sunrise to sundown, I also try to read the Quran every single day. Um, I also try to limit distractions from outside world and focus on Muslim practices and teachings. In Malaysia, we celebrate Eid ranging from one day to three days or to even a week. We like to visit each other's homes, eat lots of good food, share some time together, and kids are also awarded some money. We celebrate with Eid al-Fitr and with my family and my family friends. We have many different parties, breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day for about three to days to a week, and it's really fun. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak, or in Malaysia, Selamat Hari Raya. That was a great video, and it helped me understand a lot more about Islam and why people fast in the first place. It's a bit late, but Eid Mubarak to those who celebrate. During Ramadan, there were also canons, right? What, were, what was that about? Well, in Bahrain and several Muslim countries, especially in the Middle East, canons are first used to announce the day of fasting, and would later on announce the time that would break the fast. It was brought back from Egypt in the 19th century, and there are many stories of how it was created. That's super interesting. I'd love to do more research on it. On you own. definitely should. On a separate topic, Bahrain School is finally able to travel. Here's what our Falcon athletes were up to in Naples, Italy. Hey Bahrain School, my name is Jay, and these are your athletes' traveling experiences. Hey, my name is Dalton. I'm one of the captains of the track team and I had an amazing time in Italy. Hi, my name is Caden. My friends call me K2 Speed. You already know I'm super speedy. Uh, I had a great time in Italy. I'm really looking forward to Germany, seeing all the competition, absolutely smoking all of the teams. Hey, I'm Leon. I'm one of the strikers for the Marine soccer team and I am excited to travel to Germany. Let's go! My name is Danny and I play center defensive mid and I had a blast in Italy and I'm so excited for the opportunity to play in Germany. My name is Sarah, I play on the Bahrain soccer team and Italy was really fun and I can't wait for Germany. Hey, my name is Jake, they call me Jacoby and I'm an 800 runner and I can't wait to run in Germany. What up everybody, Bahrain school, my name is Aspen, my fans call me Lil Goat. My experiences in Italy really showed me that I really am the best, but I can be so much better. And I'm gonna show you in Germany just how much better I can be. Hello, my name is Juan, aka the Colombian Stallion. My experiences in Italy was great. We kind of destroyed them, but we got second place. And then for Germany, we're coming for you. Everyone, everyone, we're coming for you. Cam. Congratulations, Falcon athletes. Sounds like you guys had a wonderful competition. Well, Amira, did you know that this is also our last news show this year? All right. Is there anything else that we have to add? Well, one of our Video 3 students wants to show an upcoming possible project that he wants to bring into the next year. Really? That sounds interesting. It's a teaser for now, but he wants us to see at least his idea of a project that will keep us looking for more. Here's what it looks like. <laughs>
Hey! Stop stargazing! We're here! You too, Commander! I'll slice you in half! Uh, I'm going to freaking say it's a stupid team. Also, it gives you a nice skull team, but for me, I guess that's an ass. Yeah, screw all of you, okay? This is some bias. Come on. So, are we all ready? Yeah, Vader, look, look. I, I like your speech, alright, man? But, can you, like, not threaten me? With that stupid, uh, Freaking sword, red plasma thing, whatever you have again. I forgot what it's called, but don't do that again, please. All right, you keep threatening to slash me in half. That was mine, I will slice you next time I see you asleep because we almost crashed. Almost. Now, let me just. Why are you counting? Commander? Where's the little one? This is serious? He's serious! He, he's just serious! My guy! You know what she is? Who she is? Where we got her from? Understand who and what she is. I still want her with us. Do you understand my orders? Y'all, y'all, y'all are some weirdos. I swear to God. Jesus. So what's the plan? I'll scout ahead. You three will follow suit after I give you three orders. If you do not hear anything from me, that means that you're in danger. Or we can just make sure you're not in any danger at all, and just make sure you're in fine. See ya. But, no, you can't just leave it. I'm excited to see how this next year goes. And with that package done, it's now time for the quote of the week. Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time by Thomas Edison. Make, Make it a great, great day, Falcons, and, and good luck on your exams. exams.